Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Donnie, and today I've got an unboxing for something super fun that I cannot wait to use. If you wanna find out what it is, stick around. I'll be back in 10 seconds. All right, what I've got here today is a lamp. Okay, this is a desk lamp that is supposed to be a lot better for your eyes to be able to adjust to. It's got different settings and stuff so that's gonna be better for whatever it is you're using. I mean, you can adjust it differently for when you're reading, looking at papers or when you're on your computer. So, you know, um, I figured this would be really great for diamond painting and this company contacted me because um, they, they thought the same thing. And when I looked at their product and watched their videos and checked it, all this stuff out, I thought, well, you know what? The lighting here in my garage, well, my craft room basement is not very good unless I have all my studio lights on, which is way too bright for diamond painting. So I thought I'd give it a shot. And so, this is what I got. I'm going to unbox this. I'm going to speed it up so that we can not have to see all the little bitty things I have to do to open the box. Okay, well, it came, the box came in a box. So here's the actual box itself. And you can kind of see here what it looks like on the outside of the box. Now, this is the older version. I wasn't sure if they were sending me the older version or the newer version. Um, I think this one will work just fine for diamond painting. Uh, if I were wanting it for a bedside lamp or something, I'd probably want the newer updated version. So let's open this up and see what we got. Lots of cardboard. Okay, so the box is really big, but the actual lamp isn't that huge. Okay, so we've got, um, here is our power supply, I'm guessing. We're plugging it in. Yep. Yeah. And I'm, I'm assuming they do it this way for different countries that um, have different types of plugs. So they sent me the American version. And this is the lamp itself. The light bulb, the light part. Look at that design, how it's curved. And I've got, it looks like they gave me, this is the silver. And I don't have my big studio lights on because I really wanted to get the a feel for the actual light, how it works. So I'm going to get all this plastic off here and put it together and then we'll give it a try. But look at that cable. Look at how much qual how quality that cord is. Let's see if we can, yeah. It's got that braided type and it's thick and it's heavy, nice and oh my gosh. And look how long it is. It's really long. So if you diamond paint in different places, this is actually, I think it would be easy to move from one place to the other. So if I wanted to take it up to the living room, I I'm sure it would be no problem. And then we've got plastic around the base. So I'll just fast forward here and connect the lamp part to the base and the newer version see how this base only has the one joint right there the other one has another joint here in the middle so you're able to um, bring it closer to the table but I think this is close enough for diamond painting it I don't need it any closer than that all right so I'm gonna get to work installing this I might I've watched quite a few videos, so I don't think that I really need to 
look at the instructions, but I'm going to anyway. So here's our instructions, quick start guide. And here we go. It just shows that you need to insert the small metal shaft on the bottom of the lamp shade onto the top of the lamp arm. So this little doodad right here, and it's connected with a ball joint. So I'm afraid to move it, but so that will go into this hole right here, just like so. And then it says to take your Allen wrench and screw the two screws in. I'm not sure what this little white, okay, that covers, that covers the hole up afterwards. So I'll do that real quick and be, continue with you. cord into the grooves on the lamp arm and leave at least eight centimeters on the top in order to tilt the lamp head freely so we're gonna leave let's bring it back this way so we can see what we're doing here I'm gonna leave about that much then we're gonna press the cord into the arm like so get it all the way down now they do actually have a an extension you um, accessories you can buy one is to clamp it onto your desk which I prefer not to do that way I can move it around a little better so I've got it um, I don't know if you need to undo the, there's a rubber stopper at the bottom here too. I don't think that comes out. Oh yeah, it does. It covers up screws too. So it covers up the screws at the bottom. So I guess if you're going to do the clamp, you need to be able to get to those screws. But that's what this little rubber thing is at the bottom. It just covers up the screws just like the top piece is that I put in. Okay, so that's done. And it says to connect your power cord and plug it in. And you're good to go. So let me plug that in and then we will start looking at some of the features of this thing. Okay, I've got her plugged in and it's facing over there. So, wow, look at that. That is an awesome, oh, I pushed the button. Okay, so I'm gonna pull this up just a little bit, my camera, so you can, see her a little bit better her I'm calling you the lamp of her don't know why some of the things it can do here let's see you, it's on a ball joint so you can yeah there you go so you can turn it which direction you want and it can go almost straight up look at that like that you can get it down that's the one thing about having the one no bend in the arm I can't show a lot of the features because I've got my camera overhead but you can see here it's got a lot of flexibility and movement so this is the part that you know it's it just varies for reading and what you're choosing to do there's a knob on here where you can adjust that but here you have to tap this to turn it on and it does have some kind of a smart 
feature to it where it will adjust to whatever wherever you're at and what you're doing see there's a blue that's blue light it just changed and as you can see there's a red light at the top if I tap it again it turns off see did you see how the light fluctuated okay I'm turning it off now let me turn it back on yeah you see that now you can do this to lower the, how much light you just roll the thing so look at the ch the color changes and now it's in green mode which green means that it's for screen reading and if you touch the metal ring for two seconds it will light up to green so I must have held it down too long see I just held it down for two more seconds and it turned it into book reading mode and the in auto dimming mode the lamp automatically provides optimal brightness according to the ambient lighting condition and adjusts the color temperature depending on book reading mode or screen reading mode so I'm guessing when you're diamond painting that would be more like book reading mode but you can rotate the knob to adjust the brightness so look at that oh man I don't know if you could see that but let's see see it's like an orange color my hand is like right where the there we go let's try this there that's a, like a blue color look at that look at the different colors and brightnesses that is so cool I mean this is such a bright area I you know I could even use this if I had had this a long time ago I probably wouldn't have had to invest so much money into all my lighting for um, filming because this is this is perfect I mean I just turned it off <laughs> okay yeah but yeah the lighting for this is like you can see my table perfectly and you don't really get a lot of glare like my ring light does let me kind of move it out of the screen mode the camera view but you can see how much darker it is up here this is because the lamp stops right there coming up to the camera is the only thing and I would just have to adjust that I could probably bring the light closer to the camera yep I've got it way up there now Let's turn it back on. So then if I brought my hand up here, you would be able to see it. This is this would have been great for filming. I mean, I pro I might still just use it for filming because some of my lights are just so bright it blinds me. Okay. So again, there see it's in the red zone, the red mode, the orange color, which is for reading, book reading, and then the screen mode. For like if you're on your computer if you have a laptop down here or something it it makes it where it's darker in the middle and brighter on the outside it's it's really sophisticated i was doing the adjusting when i couldn't do it when my hand was in the way now you can see i'm just turning the knob that's all the way up so if i go down counterclockwise you can see you can see how it's changing and it auto adjusts to the area your your area so it's it adjusts how much light comes out of each the side versus the middle and then I tap the ring you can also run your finger down the ring to change the light watch and then go this way that is so cool it is so neat so let me pull out my diamond painting I want to put it in um, book mode and see if that's what is going to be appropriate for diamond painting because I could not see my symbols I don't have um, a light board down here I wanted to try and just have this specific diamond painting for um, when I'm down here working um, at my craft table I had it so I'd have a diamond painting to work with let me pull my drills out all right so uh, I'd have to probably stick this on the other side because oop, there we go the cord was getting in the way of my diamond painting but see I can bring the light how it depends on where I want to put it if I want to put it at the end of my desk over here I could bring it here 
yeah and let's see how good the symbols look with this light oh yeah I can read them much better than when I had it with no light I mean let's let's compare to when I have no light no light well I have my ring light on and it's on like a midway but from what I can see here let me zoom in so you can see what I'm seeing let me move my lamp okay so that's about how it looks to me I'm zoomed in but it's kind of blurry it's not blurry to me but it's they're hard to read I can't really see them very well let me turn on the lamp so that's in book reading mode and bring my lamp around here It's kind of shining off of the glue, but look, I can see it way better. I mean, you might just have to trust me <laughs> on this because it's really hard to film. I just have it to the side here. Let me see if I turn it up as high as it goes. Oh yeah, that's like having a light board. It's 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 shiny. It's really shining off of it. So let's see if I tilt it. But yeah I can see the symbols way easier now I can read what they say I don't have to squint I'm not gonna hurt strain my eyes trying to see what symbols are what so I am I was super excited to be able to open this and to start using it so that I can di actually diamond paint down here because I just set up this little bit here and I probably missed some of the symbols because I couldn't see for anything even with those bright lights on because it wasn't directly in front of me or down on top of my um, canvas the my studio lights that I have so it was it was really hard to see whoops I didn't have it in front of you but yeah I yeah I don't need a light board with this I mean light pads are nice um i just find that they're not sometimes they're not as convenient to take everywhere i go i mean i have several of them but i don't like to always use them because then i have to get this clipped onto it to make sure it doesn't move i do not diamond paint flat but i'm going to do that with this one and see how well that works for me and this is a good start anyway this lamp I'm yeah I am stoked to try this lamp out um, I'm gonna put down below their website information I'm also gonna give you a link to them on Facebook I'm not Facebook on Amazon they have a shop on Amazon so yeah you I, I watched lots of videos and I mean I don't know if I can my video is gonna do them justice but I hope so because I really really like this lamp and to be able to have it um, down here in the garage because I just have one overhead light down here and it is not above my desk it's over that way so I don't I don't have very good lighting down here and I don't like having to use my ring light just to get some light on my desk and it, it still does not do what I need it to do so I can now have this up as high as I've got it which it's almost to the maximum the height that'll go and it may it, it lightens up my entire desk here so I can see everything and I don't have to worry about using my ring light or anything else but yeah I just wanted to show this to you um, they were kind enough to send this to me so that I can actually try it out for diamond painting and see how well it works for diamond painting and if it does good then I can recommend it to you guys or tell you if I don't like it and I can tell you I do like how nicely this illuminates the area I mean let me again turn it off again turning it on versus off I don't know if you can see the difference it I can look at this area it's it's much better I mean 
yeah, a light's going to do much better. But the fact that it is has a smart feature where it will, it will take the light that's around you and make it brighter in the areas that you need, and it'll be darker in areas that you don't need. I don't know. It's a smart light. I don't. <laughs> it's smarter than me because I have no idea how that works, but. I'm, I'm excited. I can actually probably move this lamp over to when I go do my resin stuff. I can, it's, I mean, the base is a good heavy six pounds and, but it's nice and wide too. So I'm not worried about it tipping over. So I can actually take it over to like my resin area or even get a second one to take over there because, um, it's, does not take up very much room on my desk and I can actually set things on here if I need the extra space and it's just basically just taking up this little bit of space right here if I use the base of it to keep store things on there too as long as I'm not going to move it but yeah it's I recommend highly recommend this lamp I have oops I have been looking for something for my desk down here that's not just one of those light those lamps that just has like it you get it in one spot it's not it's like a spotlight it's most desk lamps are like this that this one will brighten up the entire desk so yeah let me know down below if you own one of these and if you've been looking into it or if you've just been waiting for you know proof that it is really going to be work wonders for you now let me know what you think of this lamp if you like i said if you own one already or if you're thinking of owning one if you're thinking of buying one um if you use the link in my description um where it shows their amazon shop um i i do get a um a very small commission from amazon because it's i'm linking it to you through my page but you are not obligated to use that link whatsoever you can go straight to their shop or you can search for the BenQ light on Amazon but it doesn't cost you anything extra to use my link it does help my channel if you do use the link but um, if you've made it this far into the video please put um, you can let's see the secret word will be glitter if you use the word glitter down below just use an emoji or even use the word in your sentence or even just say the word glitter I'll know you made it to the end and um, yeah don't forget to hit that like button hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and I will see you guys in my next video if you hit subscribe or if you hit the notification bell you will be notified when I do post my next video have fun diamond painting and don't forget to always sparkle wherever you go and whatever you do take care everyone bye